To start, after I printed this helmet upside down, I'm putting some wood filler on the top to fill in a lot of the layer lines. There are nine individual pieces that make up the sides of the helmet. Each of these pieces is printed and then sanded with 180 grit sandpaper. After the initial round of sanding, they will be primed, followed by another round of sanding. The side pieces of the helmet have been primed and are sanded again with 240 grit sandpaper. After the wood filler on the top of the helmet has dried, it is sanded, and then the whole helmet is primed, followed by sanding with 240 grit sandpaper. An initial coat of green and gray paint is applied to the entirety of the helmet. Now the helmet is being taped off so that some green blue paint can be applied to the front and the back of the helmet. The green blue paint has been applied and now some more tape is being applied to portions of the helmet so that dark red paint can be applied to the front and sides of the helmet. Okay, I've got the Boba Fett helmet set up with masking tape taped off for the yellow bars on the left side of the helmet. I just used regular masking tape and I cut it into four sections so that they look like this. And then I place those on the helmet and I'm going to be using some mustard color acrylic paint to paint that in. I don't, this is just leftover paint I had. I don't know how it's going to look. I might tweak the color a little bit, but I'm going to paint that and then I will update you. I've got the yellow bars on the helmet painted and I'll take the tape off soon enough, but the next step will be to do some fine detailing. I want to make this a very worn, battle-worn helmet, that sort of Boba Fett helmet, so I'm going to be using these four acrylic paints to do some fine detailing. It'll, I'll be using that mustard yellow again along with artichoke green, some gunmetal, and then some silver uh, metallic paint. Okay, I've got the first round of detailing paint on, which is the metallic silver paint. I went all the way around the helmet. I used the Hasbro Black Series helmet. Uh, as a reference, I looked up pictures online and did my best to kind of match that up, but it's not perfect, it doesn't have to be. And now I'm gonna go through the helmet again with this gunmetal gray, which is a little bit darker of a gray. And I'm going to give you guys a little insight on how I do this. So I just have a detailing paintbrush here. Get the, the paintbrush with a little bit of paint on it. And when I apply this detailing paint, I make sure that I don't um, brush it on. I want to dab it on and I want to put it in spots where, obviously referencing the picture, the helmet is worn. And you can get creative, it doesn't have to be exactly um, the same spots as the picture, but um, you just go throughout the helmet, do this. I'm gonna do this all again with the dark gray, and then I will update you guys on what that looks like. All right, the gray has been applied all the way around the helmet. And the last part is going to be putting some of this uh, greenish yellow tint on in the same way that all this was done. And this color was created by combining some of the green, the yellow, and a little bit of silver. Um, it's just kind of mix it up until you think it looks the way it should and reference the pictures. And so I'm gonna apply this and then I'll show you what that looks like after that is applied. I did a preliminary metallic coat on the sides of the Boba Fett helmet, and as you can see, we've got a lot of detailed print lines um, still showing up. So I'm going to take some of this Bondo and put it over the lines and then repaint it. I think that that'll help a lot. So I'll put that Bondo on and then sand it off and then reprime it and repaint it. I've got the side pieces of the helmet with the first coat of paint on and what I'm doing is taping over the portions that I want to leave that color and then the rest of the pieces I'm going to spray with silver spray paint once the tape is covered and then after that I'm going to take some black acrylic paint and do some detailing. After an initial coat of paint is applied to the sides of the helmet, some portions are taped off again and painted with black acrylic and silver acrylic paint. The metallic silver paint is applied in the same way it was applied to the main portion of the helmet by just dabbing it on in places where the helmet was likely to be worn. Looking at pictures online can also be very helpful for looking at where detail paint should be applied. 
After the fine detailing is done, some super glue and contact cement are used to connect a few of the pieces before being connected to the main portion of the helmet. If contact cement is being used to connect the side pieces to the main portion of the helmet, it's good to use a dab or two of super glue to help these pieces not move around and shift while they are drying. Some white scrap paper is used to create a stencil of the visor. Some window tint is cut and applied to some thin clear plastic. The stencil of the visor is traced onto the window tint and cut to size. After being cut to size, the window tint is attached to the inside of the helmet using contact cement and super glue. Some circles and rectangles are cut out of EVA foam and are attached to the inside of the helmet for some padding and support. These pieces are attached to the inside of the helmet using contact cement and super glue. You can put as much padding and support inside the helmet as you need to fit the size of your head.